All right, this technique session, we're going to be talking about stand-up striking combinations that use sweeps. Sweeps like you might see in Muay Thai, for example. So these can be used in, in, you know, in Thai boxing or in MMA or in a street fight. Um, I'm going to be demonstrating on the Octabag, my prototype MMA training tool um, that I'm working on. Um, some of these, I'll, I'll, I'll warn you, some of these sweeps are going to be difficult to execute on a dummy of this type because it has four legs on it. So I'm going to sweep four legs instead of two or one, right? Um, but we'll see how it goes. All right, all right. So the first one I'm going to be doing is a pretty conventional Muay Thai sweep. It's we're going to go with a front kick, jab, forward elbow, and a hand across face sweep into a knee. So basically, I have almost almost all these sweeps I'm ending with a knee, as if the guy's dropping to the ground and trying to get back up, and I'm going to the head with that knee. Okay, for this first one, we're going with front kick, jab, elbow, right? And I'm now behind my opponent, hand across the face, and I'm going to bump my hips up and sweep them to the ground. And then, bang, hit him with the knee, all right? That's from side one, from an orthodox stance. From side two, with the southpaw stance, same thing. Front kick, jab, elbow to the head. I'm now stepping around behind the opponent, hands across the face, and I'm off and up, and sweeping that leg up as well. And then, bang, in with the knee as he starts, starts to get up. All right, so that's combination number one. All right, the second combination using sweeps. Um, this one's pretty difficult to pull off. We're gonna be using the dragon tail sweep, which is a technique from, from karate. That's where I learned it, from Kenpo Karate. Um, Usually I would only throw this against somebody who's got like a really relatively close, really bouncy stance kind of, kind of guy, right? That's moving around like this, because I need to be able to time it perfectly in order to get the sweep of both legs. It's gonna be difficult to show it on the bag, so I'll show it on the bag and then show what it looks like off the bag as well. All right, so I'm gonna start out with, you need to go to the back of the legs, right? For the, with the sweep with the guys that's, that's, that's uh, with a bouncy stance. So with a weighted stance, I'm gonna throw a side kick, jab. And what I'm going to do is go straight into the dragon tail sweep, get up, and then that's going to be knee to the head. <clears throat> so I'll show that from the other side as well. I should surprise that the bag went down on that since I did it in slow mo. But in any case, we're going to try that again. So from here, opposite side, right? From, I'm on the opposite stance, southpaw now. Bam, jab, and then here. Taking out the legs, he goes down, and I hit him with the knee. All right, so that's the dragon tail sweep. Without the bag at full speed, it'll look a little bit more something like, something a little bit more like this. And from the other side, same thing. And then, knee. All right, so that's combo number two. Okay, so for this third sweep combination, we're going to be using a minor outer reap um, off of a hook kick. All right, so this is a little, also a pretty fancy one. All right, um, we're gonna go with a roundhouse kick, or lead roundhouse, jab, hook kick to the back of the head, minor outer reap, and then knee, all right? So on the octa bag, it's gonna look a little bit, something a little bit like this. We're going to chop the leg, jab the head, get up here. Now I'm already, I'm grabbing at the shoulder, I'm already in position to take him for the, the outer reap. And then, bang, knee to the head, right? So on the other side, or other stance, I'm going with leg, head, up to the back, to the, to the back. I already got control of his arm. And I'm going with the reap, and knee to the head. So basically it's like this, and then straight into the reap. So that's combo number three. Okay, so this, one is also a sweep off the hook kick. We're going to be using a scissor sweep, or really, or a wide scissor sweep, or high scissor sweep on this one. This is really a, a combination used if your hook kick gets caught, right? You go into the inside of the front with the, with the hook kick on this to the head, and it gets caught for one reason or another, or it gets hung up on its shoulders or, or clothes or whatever. All right, so same entry from here. What I'm going to do is leg, jab head, come up to the head. If I get caught here, what I'm going to do is hop back with this leg and go bring him down this way, right? 
and you want to get back up and get control, knee, whatever the case is. All right, so basically one leg is going in front of his face and the other leg, you have to hop behind his rear legs and then basically use that leverage to topple him over. The same concept here, I'm going leg, jab, hook kick, it gets caught, I'm going to hop behind and then use the leverage to take it down and then whack him with the knee. All right, so that one's kind of a fallback measure if your hook kick gets caught. All right, so it's the scissor sweep uh, or a high scissor sweep. You can try that one. Why not? It's a, you know, kind of a worst case scenario uh, thing you may want to use. All right, this last one is actually probably the simplest. Um, it's the uh, spin and dump sweep, right? Um, so you could use this in a variety of different um, <coughs> fight sports scenarios or the street, all right? Uh, you see this in Muay Thai a lot. So this could also be turned into a judo throw, but what we're going to do is more of a Muay Thai spin and dump. All right, so what I'm going to do is start off with a front kick to the body, jab to the head. This, this next strike is basically a shoulder strike to the head, right? You could also do this as a, like, a, like a clothesline, and you're going to grab your, you know, clasp your hands, take a big step back, and spin it up to the ground. Right, so you're not really hipping in like you would do with the judo throw. You're stepping back and using that momentum to drop from the ground, bang, and hit him with the, the knee. As he starts to get back up or as he's falling. All right, so once again, I'm gonna be here. I'm going front kick, jab, hit, and bang, with the knee. Okay, from the other stance, it's the same thing. Front kick. Bang. With the knee. So the, those are five stand-up striking combinations that utilize sweeps. Um, they will take a lot of practice to get this to make them smooth. But let's go ahead and try them out. Enjoy. If you found this video useful and you want to see more, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. We upload videos at least once a week. Thanks for watching.